So far, the entry-level ground scanner Fusion Lite comprised only the control unit with charger and the Android app. We decided to expand the delivery scope. This means the control unit with charger is still included and the Fusion Lite now contains additional components. The smartphone is now included in the delivery scope. The Fusion Lite app is pre-installed on this Android smartphone. The waterproof and shock resistant Peli case replaces the previous carrying tube. The Windows PC is added and includes the pre-installed Visualizer 3D software. This extension provides beginners with all necessary components for a successful start in 3D ground scanning. With the Fusion Light Magnetometer mode you can detect metal objects near the surface in real time. It is used to clear the scan field before performing a 3D ground scan. First, start the Fusion Light app and select Magnetometer. After selecting the desired operating mode, the internal Bluetooth will automatically connect the probe with the smartphone. A successful connection is indicated by the blue trigger LED on the probe. Move the probe slowly in any direction, forwards, backwards, to the left and to the right, but keep the probe straight in vertical orientation. Do not pivot or rotate it. The scan results will be displayed immediately on the smartphone display. If the signal becomes unstable, stop moving the probe and push the trigger button to perform a ground balance. As soon as the fusion light detects a strong signal, the scan values will increase and reach its peak directly above the target object. The red signals moving upwards are positive magnetic poles of ferromagnetic objects. The blue signals moving downwards are negative magnetic poles. With 3D ground scan, treasure hunters can visualize detected structures and objects in three-dimensional representations. These scan images allow to determine the position, size and depth of targets and can be further analyzed in OKM's detection software Visualizer 3D Studio. First, start the Fusion Light app and select 3D Ground Scan. After selecting the desired operating mode, the internal Bluetooth will automatically connect the probe with the smartphone. A successful connection is indicated by the blue trigger LED on the probe. Choose between the options, Default, and Customized. You may select, Customized, to adjust the scan settings individually. Choose between Scan Modes, Zigzag, and Parallel. Use Impulse Mode, Automatic, for smooth and flat terrain or, Manual, Mode for rough scan fields. Choose, Automatic, Field Length or set the scan line length individually before the scan. Go to the bottom right corner of the scan field and start walking as soon as you press the trigger button on the probe. If you choose Automatic, Impulse Mode and Field Length, walk until you reach the end of the scan line and press the trigger again to finish the line. Prepare for your next line by going to its starting point. Press the trigger button and start walking. Repeat this for all scan lines. Keep the probe straight in vertical orientation and at the same height above the ground. Do not pivot or rotate it. The scan image will be generated line by line during the scan and immediately displayed on the smartphone. Finish and save your scan after scanning the last line. 
Enter a file name and the scan field dimensions. In view mode, you can scale and rotate the scan image for further analysis. Connect the smartphone to the notebook via USB cable. Swipe down on the smartphone display to open the notifications. The latest Android system notification informs you that this device is currently charging via USB. Tap to open the notification and tap once more to see more options. In the lower section of the USB preferences you see that data transfer is currently not activated. Click on File Transfer to enable it. Swipe up to close the USB preferences. Open the Windows Explorer on the notebook by clicking on the folder icon, or by using short key Windows key plus E. Find your smartphone in the left sidebar. Here it is called BV6300. Click on it and open Internal Shared Storage to see all folders. Navigate to Documents, OKM, Fusion Lite, Scans. Select the scan files and drag and drop them to the desktop. From here you can open the desired scan file.